Okay, so first off, you pull up your um, ring document here. Then next, I'm going to go to the view looking at the whole of the ring. So I believe for me, that is the front view, if I remember correctly. Yes, it is. And the first thing to do is find your ring that has the sprue on it. So whatever ring that you have your sprue on, go ahead and select it just by clicking on it. And then go Control-C and copy it. So that copies just that ring. Now let's go ahead and place that into a new drawing. So we're going to go over to new drawing. And I'm going to go in the top view. I'm going to go control V and paste that ring in there. So over there's my ring. If you can't find it, just double click and it should find your ring there. Okay. So now next um, with this, it's on a wireframe view. We really don't like a wireframe view. So I'm going to put it on a realistic view. And right now my ring is green. Well, I'm going to change my ring to more of a metal looking color. So yeah, one of those grays in there is fine. And I'll pick that gray. Okay. Um, then next. Um, here all we're going to do is we're just going to do a screenshot. So we're going to get this in a view that looks good. I want you to be able to see the sprue and be able to see the design on your ring. So I'm going to spin mine around to here. Now, here's where I have a little bit of an issue on mine is... I can't spin mine the other way around. Mine is upside down. So what I really need to do with mine is I just need to um, go back to my, oh, what? Probably front view here. And I need to rotate this thing a 180 degrees. So now that has this in the normal view. Now I can actually get it in a view that I want. Twist it around here a little bit. So again, I can see my sprue base and I can see the detail on my ring is where I want that to be. Once you have it in a good looking view like that, um, right now I have my command line there. I see a bunch of stuff there. So I'm going to pull that down so it's kind of out of the screen. I'm going to make sure I move my cursor out here to the side and hit my print screen button. So I'm going to hit print screen. And print screen is there above your arrow keys, um, above the insert, delete, and all that good stuff. So once you print the screen, you're going to go down here and type paint and open up paint. And with that, we're just going to paste it in the paint. We're going to go control V and paste it in there. So now the only problems we have here is, or the couple problems we have is number one, it's a great big picture here of everything. We don't want all this other junk around the outside of it. So we're going to come in here with the select tool and pick a box relatively tight around the ring and then hit on crop. Now the next thing that we don't like is it has a black background. Now, I know you can take your bucket and bucket fill this back of it, the black ground to white. But what we'd rather do is be able to make our screenshot in white and it actually will lighten up some of the shadows and stuff a little bit there. So to do that, we're going to go back to CAD and change our background in CAD. Um, this is something I may have shown you in the past, but if not, this is how you change your background in CAD. And I want you to know how to change your background in CAD is the other part of this. So... We're going to come back here to the screen. You're going to right click anywhere on your AutoCAD screen. Go down to options. Once options comes up, it should default to display, but it doesn't always. And it doesn't look like yours did. So click on display. And then go down to colors here on the side, about in the middle. Click. Again, the default should have been the uniform background highlighted at the top. Right now it's set to this 33, 40, 40, or sorry, 40, 48. We need to change that just to white. So we're going to hit that down arrow and change that to white. Apply and close and OK. And we're looking pretty good there. So now with this, we do have a nice white background now. However, we don't like this grid behind it. So if you don't, haven't turned your grid off yet, um, click here to turn your grid off. Oops. To turn your grid off there. And now we have a nice looking white background. Once again, hit your print screen. And now go back to paint once again. And go control V, pay, excuse me, paste that in there. And there we have a good looking drawing that we can crop down and have a beautiful looking ring there. And we can save this. So go file, save as on this would be the best because we're going to do several of them here. Um, so it's good to go save as. And when you save it, I would just save it to, I made a new folder called um what did i call it ring images i guess so yeah i just made a folder called ring images and i just saved it there so 
there's my one there. Screenshot one is what I named that as. So save it as screenshot one. Save. Yeah, sure. I'll replace mine. And there's our first one. Okay. So now what I want you to do is go ahead and go back to CAD. And now I want you to make some other screenshots. Um, I want you to do a grand total of four screenshots here. Um, you can just go to a different view here. You can keep it unrealistic. But really what I'd like you to try is try some of these different options. So instead of realistic, try possibly 2D wireframe. Mm, yeah, I don't like 2D wireframe. So let's not use that one. But try maybe conceptual. Now, conceptual, again, it doesn't look as realistic. But honestly, in comparison to realistic, you can see the detail, at least on my ring, a lot better. So conceptual is not bad. So you might do a screenshot of conceptual. Um, you might do one of the hidden line that just creates the lines out there, and that's fine. You might change up the view a little bit, you know, just to make it a little bit more interesting. Um, but there would be another possible screenshot. Um, again, there's realistic. Shaded and realistic really looks very similar. Um, so not much different there. Shaded with the edges does highlight your edges a little bit. So if you like that, that's a great option. Um, shades of gray. Shades of gray really does kind of highlight your lines a little bit too. And sketchy. You know, honestly, I think it sometimes in something sketchy can look kind of cool. So if you want to do sketchy, that's great. Um, again, wireframe, yeah, not so much. And x-ray, probably not so much. But there are a lot of other options there. What I want you to do is I want you to create a grand total of four screenshots. Um, I can go back to paint here and you can kind of see the previews. Well, there's another example. Here are somebody else's four screenshots. These, I would have rather have seen these a little bit more different than this because they kept them all the same. He didn't even really show a very good example of his dinosaur here. But I would have liked to see those a little bit different. So here I guess we can go... And there was my screenshots. I did looks like one conceptual, one realistic. I think this was shaded with um, edges and then one sketchy is what I did. So, okay. So once you have your four screenshots made, and again, those are saved as screenshot one, two, three, and four. Once you have your four screenshots made, then next we're going to do some renderings. Uh, so we're going to go back to CAD. And I'm going to go ahead and put this in a realistic view again. Renders show up on a realistic view. They won't show up on others. So we're going to go to a realistic view. And now what we're going to do is we're going to actually add some materials to our ring. So we're going to type M-A-T-L for material. And that brings up your material library. It should come up somewhere there. Um, I always like to park mine on the side. I'll get rid of my properties box here. So I'll close it out. And then get this one parked over here on the side. Whoops. If I can get it to attach. Come on. There we go. So now with that attached to the side, notice here it gives the name of them, but it's hard to see with it being this narrow. So if you need to widen up your screen here, you can make this a little bit wider. Mine's already wide enough, but you can adjust it there. But what I really want to adjust is the name. I don't care about the type and the category so much, but I want to see the name of it a little bit more. So I can see, oh, this is burgundy this. This is two-inch square salmon, or etc. I want to be able to see that portion of it. All right, so now next. What you can do is at the top here, you can actually search. Our ring is made out of silver, so at the top, if we just search silver, everything with the word silver in it, if I didn't put a W in silver there, everything with the word silver in it, if I hit enter, will come up. Um, so here, I have linear silver gray, polished silver, satin silver, silver, silver maple. Hey, we can set it to a tree or etc. cetera. Um, so to put that on the actual ring, we're going to click on the ring to select it. Come over here to the one we want. Let's just all go with the same one. Let's go just silver to start with. So we're going to hit the up arrow right here on this portion of it. And that, if you hover over, it says add material to document. So click on it and it adds it to there. Now notice it made it very dark. Um, and that's what silver did to it. Um, but it's going to look different once we actually render this. So if you type render, R-E-N-D-E-R, -E render, and hit enter, it's going to render this thing. And it should do a rendering here in a couple seconds. Now, wow, that's even darker than what it had been in the past. Um, 
That is extremely dark on mine, at least. I can't see it at all. I don't know if you can see yours or not, but I can't see anything there. So the silver is really kind of dark. So what we're going to do is we don't like silver. So let's come over here. Um, polished silver, I think, was a little bit better. So we're going to try that polished silver. Yeah, polished silver is still pretty dark. Linear silver gray, what's that look like? Ah, there we go. That's a little bit better. Try the linear silver gray. And then go ahead and render it again. And there we go. That does look a lot better. And you can actually see a little bit of shadows in there, a little bit of reflection, and see what it actually looks like rendered. Uh, when you zoom in on this, you'll notice it's still a little bit pixelated. Um, we'll fix that, and I'll show you how to fix that here in just a little bit. So now what I want you to do is we've got this one set to a linear silver gray that didn't look too bad. Now for this, what we're going to be doing, oh, you know, I forgot one other step. We got our sprue base on this one. We want the other ring that doesn't have our sprue base on it. So eh, delete that ring out. Um, I would go back to your top view, go back to your other rings, and let's control C and copy over the ring that is um, without a sprue base. So we're going to copy that over there and put that ring in. So now what I started to say there, which made me think about that step that we didn't have that on, um, what you're doing this for is, this is like you're going to sell your ring, and so you want to put it kind of on display. We're going to make a little pedestal to go underneath of it. So we're going to kind of put your ring on display on a little pedestal. So that's what we're doing here. I'm going to go ahead and set this back to my silver that I want. Uh, linear silver gray. There we go. And that's looking pretty good. So now, for our base of this, we're going to make a one and a half inch cube. So all I'm going to use is the box command. I'm going to go box. I'm going to start just over here. I'm going to go C for cube. And I'm going to make sure that cube is straight. And I'm going to make that cube 1.5 inches. Now, it looks like it's right on top of there, but it's actually way over the top of it for me. So I'm going to go to my front view and get my ring moved up there to where it's just right on top of that block. So it's like setting right on top of that cube. Sounds kind of like so. Um, once again, I'm going to spin mine around here. And I'm going to notice my ring is upside down again, so I'm going to rotate my ring around. If you need to rotate yours, that's fine. I'm going to rotate mine. And now the other thing I'm going to do is mine is a stadium-style ring here. If I go over to the right-side view and look at this, the ring wouldn't magically set there like that. I want this to look realistic, so I'm going to rotate my ring again from the right-side view here a little bit and set it there, something about like that. This does not have to be perfect by any means, but get it close. So right there, my ring's sitting there the way it actually would on that little pedestal. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add some material to this pedestal. So I'm going to click on the pedestal. Um, over in this list, some that I know that looks pretty good, you can type stone. And some of these stone ones in this list really look pretty good. Um, in this list, if you type there and you type granite, um, some of the granite one looks pretty cool. Um, you can go down there. Oh, let me see. This multicolored granite, I think, looks pretty cool, if I remember correctly. So there it is. I'm going to get this new view that I like um, so I can see the whole cube. I'm going to type render again and see what this rendering looks like. And, and I kind of like that. I think that looks kind of cool. Um, so what your goal here is is you're making a grand total of um, four renderings. Two of the renderings with a white background, and this is black, and I'll show you how to change that here in a second or show you how that is, and two with another base underneath of it. Um, and I can show you what that looks like here in Paint. Uh, let me open up Paint. And here are the ones with something underneath of them. I didn't do two of the ones with the plain white background. But here, this is bamboo, and I just put a big bamboo block underneath of it. Um, this one, I put some other type of material underneath of it. So it's it's sitting on a block with the ring on the pedestal and the ring on top. The other ones are just going to be pure white. Now, here, what we will do here, and I'm going to run out of time on my video, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to go back to CAD. Here, once I rendered this, um, I'm going to go ahead and save this. 
And I'm going to save it to my same folder that I saved it to just a moment ago. And 